Hi and welcome to my channel. Thank you for being here. Today is going to be a three looks one palette using the Venus XL palette. Um, this retails for $58. I got this one and number two, but I got them for buy one get one free, so I did not pay $58 for this palette. I would not recommend doing that. But yeah, this is the color story. It's essentially a monochromatic red palette with a little bit of brown and a little bit of pink. That's just the way I see it. It's very modern, renaissance, very um, the wine palette, ColourPop released. I don't know. It It's, I don't, I have mixed feelings about this palette. It performs amazing. I'm not sure how I feel about the color story uh, and the shimmers. But anyways, we're going to start off using, uh, that shade Botticelli. Oh my gosh. I know I butchered that. I have no idea how to pronounce that. I'm so sorry. And in this look, I also cheat because I do pull in another palette. It's the only look that I do that with though. And it happens to be my favorite look of all of them. And I think it's because I did pull in another palette, but that shade is a beautiful, deep, like burgundy I think that would be the color I would call it uh, probably my favorite shade in the palette or one of them uh, just it goes really deep and I appreciate that and I do really like this shade and it was hard not to use it in all three looks to be honest but yeah I just wing it out in the outer corner if you've seen my videos you know that's how I roll and flora is the second shade that I really like and felt like reaching for every look that I did and I just placed that on my inner um, eyelid increase area on the first half portion of my eye um, this is uh, the kind of eye look I do a lot as far as the shape goes I know it's not for everybody but it's what I feel most confident wearing I'm taking that um, one shade I'm not even going to try and say it again because it's embarrassing but I'm just gonna run that across my bottom lash line and I put the flora on the front half so you know kind of like I did on the top half I did on the bottom half and then I went into Eden and I placed it on my front portion of my eyelid for the shimmer and as you see it's not super shimmery and that's where this palette really really lacks for me is the shimmers. I did spray it down and I don't think it made much of a difference. Then I took Goddess and I used it to blend out that um, very deep shade that I don't know how to pronounce uh, because I felt like I could use a little bit of a transition or a little bit more gradient and I thought it worked okay. Uh, yeah, I, I don't know. This palette is really pretty. I like the way that it performs minus the shimmers, uh, but I do think it's a little overkill and could have been, I don't know, downsized, but it is an older palette. So I took that one shade and the other shade from the BH Holiday, the BH Naughty palette, um, because I wanted more shimmer and I, yeah, I think that it added it and helped me feel better with the way that this looks um, because I do like a good shimmer. If you're not all for shimmers, then um, you may like the palette a little bit more than I do, um, but it's just a little monochromatic with a lack of shimmer. Um, so yeah, this is the first look and I do think this is my favorite look of all three. You have to let me know which one you like and I did cheat, so I'm sorry. But yeah, that is the final look and it was okay. Um, but yeah, for the next look, I went into that um, Aphrodite or Aphrodite, I'm not sure, shade and I placed it on my inner portion of my eyelid, the first half, 
and on the bottom half too. This is like a reversed smoky eye. Um, I'm not very good at reverse smoky eyes. I really do like the look of them. Um, and it's something I'm trying to get better at. I've only done a few before and I don't really, gosh, you guys, I don't know. I don't particularly like the way that this turned out. Um, I did wear it to work. Like I wasn't ashamed of it, but it wasn't my favorite. Anyways, I took that scallop shade and I placed it on the other half of my eye. Um, oh, by the way, this palette in the formula, there is very, 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 very little kick up in the pants. So if you hate kick up, I would recommend the Lime Crime formula, at least this palette. It, it had very, very, very little kick up. And I, one of the the palettes, I would say one of the palettes that I have that has the least amount of kick up. Like I don't know if I have any other palettes can, that can compare to the amount of kick up that I had because it was so little. And um, yeah, I don't really care about kick up, but I know some people do. And I was really surprised when I didn't have any with this. I took that flora shade and I placed it on the center of my eye because I wanted to add more of a gradient. I think it did a little bit add some gradient. Then I took um, Inspire but I decided I also wanted to add some glitter glue so because the shimmers aren't very good and I think glitter glue did help some but yeah I took Inspire over glitter glue on the first portion of my eye you know where the deepest shade is um, for the reverse smoky eye. And then I took the Laura Geller highlighter and I placed it on my inner corner. And then I decided to take that blank canvas shade and use it to kind of blend things out a little bit. And I think it did wonderfully. Um, yeah. So this is the finished look. What do you think? It's interesting. Um, since it's a pinky red, it's kind of looks like I have a black eye, I think. <laughs> um, probably not the best choice. All right, so we're going into the third look, and I took that one shade. I think it was idolized, and I placed it all over my lid, and I brought it down on my bottom lash line, too. Um, I did switch brushes because I felt like I needed a bigger and more fluffy brush since I was going to be using so much of this shade, which I went a little overkill with. Um, I don't think it was super necessary. But yeah, I used it and brought it all the way down on my bottom lash line. Um, yeah, it's a good shade. Nothing wrong with it. I did feel like my taggy primer didn't like it very much, um, but it worked fine. As you see, it blended out fine. Um, so then I took that passion shade and I placed it on my outer corner. Um, yeah. And I'm using the brush that I was using with Idolize to begin with. I just cleaned it off and used it because I wanted something a little bit smaller to be a little bit more precise. And I wanted to do kind of a winged look, but I didn't want to bring it out towards my temples. I wanted to keep it a little bit more tame, I guess. Um, so yeah, that's what I attempted to do. Um, and yeah, I just packed it on my outer corner just like that. And I just kind of blended it. I feel like these two shades together, I struggled a little bit with blending, but I really honestly think it's that brush, uh, because I struggled with, I, I've struggled with this brush multiple times. And so I, I kind of want to blame it on the brush, to be honest. And I took it down on my bottom lash line, and then I took uh, that Botticelli, I don't know, you guys, that really, really deep shade, but I cannot say. I'm placing that very carefully as a wing on my outer, you know, as a wing. And I bring it down on my bottom lash line, too, um, but I used a more precise uh, brush. So yeah, I feel like I didn't want to use a shade again because I know I already used it, but it's the deepest shade in the palette.
it so and I felt like I needed it and then again I went into that flora shade because I liked it and I placed it on my you know inner portion of my eye and then I took some glitter glue because I feel like these shimmers need it not because of fallout but to make it more shimmery and then I took that celestial shade and I placed it on my outer corner now this is kind of like a color pop sequin shadow and then I took ethereal and I placed it on my inner portion and the the glitter did show up a little bit more than those sequin ones from ColourPop, but it isn't the best, and I think they're kind of unnecessary. But then I took that Laura Geller uh, Diamond Dust palette, or not palette, but highlighter, and used it. And then I took uh, ColourPop's uh, liner, and I used it to make a wing. This liner sucks. Don't buy it. It's trash, and... I've had it for a while, but it's trash every time I use it, and I just need to get rid of it because it sucks. But it's the same kind of color as the um, liner, and I just kind of wanted to make it a little bit darker and add more. So yeah, this is the finished look. Let me know what you think. I like number one, but I do kind of like this one too. It's a little bit less, you know, toned down. But anyways, thank you for watching. See you next time. Bye.